quick overview of our problem right now. Pop a disc in. Just like that. Load it up. Loads just fine. Hit play. And we get some spin. An issue with grip on it. Um, not sure if you can see it too well. But after the initial issue with uh, getting up to speed, it's good for the most part. Now when I hit it, go to side B, it can't slow the disc down. That's issues with... Well, never mind. We're good just then. But uh, usually when it uh, gets to the side, end of side A and it automatically switches to side B, the, that's when the problem really persists. So we're going to replace that uh, little pad. We're going to take a look at it real quick. The um, belt has already been replaced. Uh, pretty simple affair that, especially with one of these. As you can see the right size there. Square belt, a couple bucks. So let's uh, stop this and I'll get you a good uh, shot here of it not slowing down properly. When you hit stop. I'm hoping that grip pad will be the, the fix here. So what'll happen is it'll time out because it can't slow down the disc. So it just spins and spins and spins and spins and spins. So you have to kind of stop it manually before it drops it back down. So let's take a look. So I've already unscrewed the top part of the clamp here. As you can see, I had cleaned that at some point in the past few days. It helped a lot, um, but it wasn't the ultimate cause. The ultimate cause of our problem here is that little grip ring that everyone has had issues with, especially on these later players here. So I cleaned it, I did everything I could, and uh, looks like that's our problem. So thanks to uh, Mr. Ethan here, who we met uh, on LaserDisc uh, Forever, that Facebook page, and he sent me a production, or I guess pre-production of his replacement ring that's going to go right over that. So it looks like it fits well for the most part. Hopefully uh, we can get that installed here and that fixes our problem. So I got the little old rubber grip off, peeled off relatively easily, um, and it's kind of worthless it feels like, so hopefully this will be our fix. I'm going to clean up what's left on that uh, as far as the old glue is concerned, but it looks like that old glue is all dried up. I mean, it's, how old is this machine? Built in 95? Hit it one more time with some alcohol here. I'm using what is this 91%? Whatever. It'll be fine. So I'll go real slow here. Cheating device.
All right, so even with the little bump um, in the rubber, it doesn't seem to be affecting it that much, as I don't think it's going to mess with the alignment. Um, I don't notice anything as far as, at least out of the ordinary, for uh, flutter, I guess. Disc flutter, if that's a thing. Um, I think the majority of the weight of that thing is being held through the clamp on top. But uh, it speeds up and slows down just fine. Let's do a stop here. Look at that. Instantly. So there is that stupid little ring, but uh, and a relatively simple fix, I'd say. If you weren't as clumsy as me, I'm sure you'd do it a lot better. So yeah, there we go. Let's do a spin up real quick. Flip works just fine. I did that off camera. Side A play. Look at that. Brand new, man. Another. 20 years or whatever I said. Val Kilmer, my man, the man, the best Batman and Saint. Look at that. That's dirty as all get out. Okay, so uh, yeah, Laser Rot signing off. Um, shout out to my buddy Ethan who hooked me up with uh, that little rubber ring. Yeah, 704s are sweet. 703s are sweet too. Look at that. Now it just needs to clean. And uh, we're good to go. I'll do another B, B side switch. Right over there. Alright, I'm going to plug this thing up in the TV and see what I can get out of it.